Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs, and I am starting a brand new cash stuffing budgeting journey. So today I just want to go over kind of the system I set up for myself. There's no money yet. I actually just kind of created, I got everything in the mail yesterday, so created it. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm working with, and I'm sure it'll change over time. So first I have like the wallet I'll carry, and then this is kind of my sinking funds, and then some challenges in this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my wallet first. But yes, I went with the Savion wallet. And then on the inside, so far, I haven't put any of my transfer my wallet stuff over. I did put a pen in. Um, this is actually for something I'm going to use this weekend. And then they did come with the planners and the mini budgets, which I'll see. I have a lot of bills right now and so I'm, and a lot of envelopes, so I don't really think that this is going to meet my needs as far as what I'm going to have to write down. So I'm kind of looking for something better that maybe I can keep in, that'll fit in here. But so for now I have that. And then, so these are, I'm looking at, this envelope is really the things that I might need on a daily basis that I want to budget for per each paycheck. And then at the next paycheck, these are the money that'll come out and then I'll put it towards something else. So I'll have one for groceries. This one is for household. So any of those toilet paper, tissues, cleaning supplies, anything we might need for the house. I'll have a budget here for eating out. So coffee, meals. Um, this is for my work and my YouTube, I actually have two, I'm starting this YouTube channel for budgeting and I also have one for tarot card reading. So this will be money I'll keep for if I'm out and about and I see something I want for my YouTube channel. I also work I um, as a contractor. So some, when I buy things that I want for work, I'll keep the money in there for those two things. Then I have car. So this will be for gas or for things I might need for my car, like windshield wiper fluid cleaning supplies, those kind of things for the car. I have personal, so this is really gonna be like a catch-all for now. So if I need really anything I need, right? Any toiletries, any makeup, any desired items that I want for myself, this will be my personal envelope that I'll keep with me. This one's for the bank. So whenever I end up having money that I want to deposit in the bank, I'll put it in here. And then this is just like a miscellaneous fun thing. So if I wanna do something fun, go out, if I'm out and about and there's something that comes up that I wanna have money for, this is kind of that folder. So these are the ones that'll stay in the wallet with me that I'll have and I'm pretty sure that covers most of what I might need on a daily basis. And then I have this guy. So I was excited to find that this is an old bag I had and everything fits, so I felt like it was just meant to be. <laughs> But in here I have my sinking funds and I also have a couple challenges that I want to start and it looks like this on the inside. So this is kind of, I was laying out what I needed and I'll go through this. I have two sinking funds. This is a money challenge and then this is looking familiar, the 100 envelope challenge. I think I want to find like something to kind of keep this together. But let's go through what I have. So to start, I had to come up with everything I needed, so I did list. So I did list out. So I have rent, phone, gas, water, trash, internet. So these are all gonna. I'm gonna divide my per paycheck. I have to take out some money for estimated taxes, and then each paycheck has certain amount of bills that come out of it. And I do have some bills that I just pay on my debit card online, so I'm not going to stuff that. So a lot of these house bills are gonna come off the top and then whatever's left over per paycheck, that's what I'll pull out from for some cash stuffing. I have several credit cards that I'm in debt. I have three student loans. I currently have two medical bills from a medical emergency. I am an occupational therapist, so I have some of the OT necessities I need. That's gonna get an envelope. Um, and then I kind of listed maybe other things that I want. Then on the back, I broke down the ones that I keep in my wallet. And then I had, I broke up my sinking funds into like, 
what I call like my serious stuff. So the debts, the emergency funds, the things that are really, really important. And then I have one that's more like a fun one for me. So gifts, personal, and, and that's how I broke it down. And then I decided the things I'll just keep in the bank will be the rent, utilities, the phone, my estimated taxes, my health insurance, credit cards, and any kind of easy pays I have going. So that, that's going to be the stuff that comes off the top. That's how I divided it. And then, so we'll start with my serious one. And this one I just came in the mail. As you can see, it's kind of bent. I'm just hoping that over time it'll smooth itself out a little. But I did like, this one kind of caught my eye. I don't usually go for star things, but I just liked it. All right, so this is my serious one. And the first one I have is debt. So this is going to be me trying to, above my minimum payments that I make on my debit card, I'm gonna try to stash extra cash so that maybe once a month or once every two months, I can make a big chunk payment. I'm gonna start with my credit cards and then once those are paid off, then I'm gonna move to my student loans. Um, but for now, this is specifically for credit card debt. So this is my emergency fund, and this is specifically going to be for the $1,000 emergency fund, so I just have it. Once this is stuffed to 1000 I will probably put it in my bank, and then I might stuff it again just for like a bonus. Maybe I'll try to work towards a three-month saving, but first I'm going to focus on the 1000 in here. So rent and utilities. So this... This envelope is not for monthly rent and utilities. It's actually to have a buffer. So I am a contract worker and I do have like one pretty steady contract, but I'm, but you know, I see patients. So sometimes people cancel when the holidays come around, vacations happen. So I do have some paychecks that end up being less than I would like. And so this is going to be like a buffer for those times where maybe I just need some extra money to pay rent or utilities. If I get sick and I don't work, and I lose a week of work, I have some money. So this is kind of a backup to pay for those necessities. And I'm just gonna let this one grow. And this is for my car. So this is gonna be for, I think a lot of the car maintenance stuff I'll put in the other one for gas and like, but this is gonna be for like the big things, the unexpected. And I also want to start maybe saving for a new car. My car has like, my car is actually running pretty good, but it does have like 115,000 miles on it. So I'm going to pretty much use that car as long as I can. But I do like want to save for maybe a new car. So I thought this would be kind of for saving for a new car and or car emergencies. Now I only started with 24 envelopes and I think that eventually I'll probably find that I want to split. Some of these envelopes are covering more than one thing. So like this one's covering car emergencies and a new car. And I think eventually I'll probably add some more envelopes and divide them. But for now, this is kind of what I'm working with. Education is specifically for my student loan. So I'm not in school right now, but I do have an enormous amount of student loan debt from my bachelor's and my master's degree. So I wanna start saving money that I would like to start kind of like paying off in chunks. Or kind of like with the rent and utilities, saving. So just in case I have those times where I'm, my paycheck wasn't as good as it should be, I'd have some extra money in here to help um, pay for my monthly student loan payment. So this is for medical. And I do have medication that I need to buy. I do I take Synthroid. And also, just for any checkups, medical things that might come up, I want to have a little bit of a savings in there so it doesn't hit me hard. And this is for general savings. This is kind of like just me creating a savings account. Nothing really specific except for this, just a general one. And then I have more specific savings. And this is gonna be for my investments. So I, ha I do have a Roth IRA and I definitely don't put enough money in there. And so I really wanted to more intentionally set money aside to make chunks into my Roth IRA. And that's what this one's for. And then this is for home. This is a dream to own a home. Um, I wanted to start stashing money away for home ownership. This is what I have so far in my serious envelope. And then the next one I have, the second one I had was more of like fun related stuff. These are the envelopes that I'm gonna pull from more frequently. Okay, so the first one I have is gifts. 
And right now, this is a catch-all. It's just gifts, gifts for holidays, gifts for birthdays. Um, again, eventually I might find that I maybe want to split this up into holidays versus birthdays, but for now it's all going to go in here. And I did, I kind of created subtitles in some of them. So this, I did have a Christmas one that I put on the back and then I'll have to get some more. And this is a personal one. So this is again, kind of more of a long-term savings for my personal needs. If I run out of money in my envelope, I, I have some money to pull from and I kind of put on the back some of so it might be for haircuts, beauty, clothing, shopping or cosmetics. So really the things I like to do. This is like my me folder. Secret stash. Um, I don't have a plan for this. I just like the idea of having like a treasure chest or a secret stash and that's what this one was for. So this is going to be something I just stash away and forget. I want to try to forget about it. And I feel like sooner or later it might come in handy. And then that was it for my clear envelopes. I really want to buy more. These envelopes came with the wallet. And while I do like them for the wallet, I don't love them in here. And I, I, like I'm kind of already noticing, I might want to break up some of these categories. So I eventually will buy more of these and replace them. But this works for now. So this is my whoops fun. And this is basically going to be a fun to cover me in case I go over on any of my envelopes, especially the daily, weekly ones, the ones I'm really going to use in my wallet. This is kind of like my buffer. Then I have OT stuff. So this is specifically for my OT license, my continuing ads. I have to pay liability insurance. I have to pay when I need to buy materials or supplies because I am a contractor if I want new assessments. So that's going to kind of be that general OT business stuff that I need. And then this one is for my YouTube. So like I said, I do have a tarot YouTube channel that I recently started only like two weeks ago. And then now I'm going to have this one. So I want to just save that way. If I want to do giveaways, if I want to buy new supplies, things, especially for the tarot channel, want to buy more cards or for this channel, just want to need to buy different things. I'll have some money saved in here. So I do have two dogs and I, this was, I ran out of envelopes and I debated about putting dogs on here, but I saved this one specifically for my one dog, Riley, because she does take medicine and her medical bill, her med, medicine is like $150 every three months. This is going to be to help save for the cost of the medicine. And then um, she gets a yearly visit at the vet. She also gets a yearly visit at a vet specialist. So that, that tends to cost money. So my little Riley definitely needs money um, my other, I'm going to, I would like to create a second envelope for my other dog, but for now I just have one for Riley because she's the one that I really need to budget for. And that is it so far. Um, I'm really loving these clear ones. I really want to get more of these. I'm debating whether just to go online now and buy more or to wait until I get paid and budget it in, <laughs> which I probably should. So I want to get more of these and then I'll change this out and kind of rearrange I also need to get more labels because I really like the size of these. And then I went last night and I found these. They were so hard to stick on. They're so thin. And I'm just, I think they're okay. They're hard to see them here, but just use what I have for now. Maybe one day I'll upgrade. All right, so that is my fun binder. These star binders came in a set of three. So I still have one binder left. And I think I'll keep, I'm kind of noticing that this one's already thick just with the amount of envelopes. So I think I might rearrange this at some point, maybe when I get new envelopes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the challenges I wanna start. So this was a present that someone gave to me and I, I had it stashed away and I was like, oh, it's perfect for this. So in this envelope, I am going to do this challenge I found online and it's the save a thousand dollars in a year. So I think you just throw money in and then you, scratch off or color in, I mean. So this is gonna hold that challenge and I have nothing in here yet. And then my next challenge I'm going to do is the 100 envelope challenge. So right now I just have it in here and I have the printout. When I set this all up last night, I actually had $3 in my wallet. So I decided, well, let's just stuff the first two envelopes. So I did, I kind of just made my why as just a better future. I am in a great amount of debt. Most of it is student loans. Some of it is credit cards. And the, you know, the lowest is medical. And I just don't want to feel overwhelmed by the debt anymore. 
I want to get control of it and that's my why is I want a better future. I do make okay money. The problem is so much of my money is going to debts right now that I feel like I what would you would call house poor where I have the money but when spills are paid and estimated taxes are paid there's really nothing left for me and this is why I really wanted to start even if I'm only stuffing like five or ten dollars for some of these envelopes that, a paycheck that's a start for me and so this is going to be another way to help me save towards that better future I'm envisioning so I have my envelopes I just bought these they were only 90 I mean this was a dollar so I trying to um not trying to buy something fancy right now but I have my envelopes labeled 1 to 100, and you can actually still see the marker because I just did this last night, and it won't wash off. But And I stuffed my first two last night, so I got my one and two. Those are already stuffed. And what I'll do each paycheck, I think is I'll just pull two. Right now, they are in order, and I'm debating whether to kind of mix them up so I can just grab two random ones or if I just want to kind of go in a row which I feel like might be a good idea for me because right now I am starting with really nothing. So maybe these will be easier for me to manage. And then as the weeks go by and my budget, I get more like money, then I'll be able to fulfill. We'll see, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm excited for this. I know this might, I would love if I could do this in a year. I'm giving myself a year and a half to do this. I think it's doable in a year and a half. So a year would be awesome, but I want to give myself that buffer. And okay, that is basically the system I set up. I wanted to start from scratch here because I did know that I've been watching a lot of these videos lately and actually commenting under my YouTube name, my tarot name. But I noticed that I don't really see anyone starting from the beginning. And I feel like for me, I would love to see how someone starts it like there's a piece, how do you organize folders? How do you go about creating a budget if you never did it before? So that's really what I want to add and maybe bring that. So if you're really interested in going through the journey with me and learning how to fill out these forms, you probably never filled out before. I've never filled them out before. Learning how to start small and build up, then I hope that you will join in my journey with me. This is my first video. I, I will make a video, I think, going through some of my debts so you can see the extent of them. And I get paid twice a month right now. So I'll probably be doing two cash stuffing videos a year and then um, maybe doing some about budgeting or money or things I learn. But I'm excited for this. I, I can't wait to get my next paycheck because I can't wait to start this process. And I'm really excited for you to join me on the process. And oh, the one thing I want to say is I right now I'm, I'm in a situation where my paycheck for the first of the month covers a huge chunk of bills. And then my paycheck in the middle of the month only really pays for my credit cards. And it's a little uneven. So what I like to do is start saving money out of my second paycheck to keep in the bank to create a buffer so that I can get, I would like to get to the point where I have enough money in my bank that each, my first paycheck of the month doesn't have to completely get wiped out, but I can um, start balancing my bills more between the two checks because right now I just have, it's a little unbalanced. But we will see. So if you found me, welcome. I am brand new. I've never done this before. I've really been thinking about this for a long time. I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to see how this these grow, how I change over time, how I maybe rework envelopes, and I'm excited to have you join me. So if you found me and you're starting your journey too, or even if you just are into it now, please like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm excited for you to go on the journey with me towards a debt-free future. Have a good day, guys. Bye.